Jij zou wel diep gaan hoor. Geef maar je voor dat ik aan diep ga. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Okay, let me properly introduce the family. From left to right is Megan, Kayla, Eben and Milani. And this week we bring you the second leg of our family trip all the way down to Hog Key. Oh, daar is zo'n gat recht hier. Got some shoes in hand. Living Sissy over there. Capex. New Capex. Still no, no covers on, so. And we are looking to go for a walk. And to Cutter. Cutter Key. Oh, Radder Key. Radder Cut Key. Or Radder Key. Most of these Bahamian islands have some form of a walking trail, so it's always a good opportunity to get off the boat and stretch they those legs. Water out the dinghy first before they're going to come look for the dog. <laughs> That's <laughs> good pumping. logic, I think. They're pumping. <laughs> get all the water first out. Yeah, and meanwhile, the dog is across the island. <laughs> when you get, get the dog to the back, then the boat is full of water again. Yeah. <laughs> it's a circle. Um, we came to a crossroads. One goes that way, and the other one goes this way. Apparently, not that way. But that's to the beach on the Atlantic. Ah, Atlantic Beach road. So, this is what, who's this owner? The Copperfield. David Copperfield. So we need to be careful, otherwise we're going to disappear. It's <laughs> 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 a fan and a washing machine. Oh, if Sisu needs some circuit breakers, there's some circuit breakers as well. And it's a little house. Oh, it looks like an outdoor shower over there. And a water system over here. We went right past this one. Did not even see it. Uh, uh, uh. Not for tall people. I'm going to have to steal the clue. Stinky mouth is the other thing. I mean, most of the other things. I don't know how she speaks things. Maybe. It's a nice thing, isn't it? Maybe I'll buy the audio. I am. I'm going to buy it.
looks so eerie. And we arrived here at the Atlantic side of the island. Huh. And yes, a big mountain in front of us. Huge mountain. Oi. I need to... <laughs> not for... Not for tall people. <laughs> Even Peter needs to crouch. Double. So me... I just go like triple. Oh, tochie! Oh my goodness. When the girls want to go home, they want to go home. On our way to the iguanas just around the corner okay so the iguanas is here on the beach Okay, now here's a little fun fact for you. Did you know that the iguana has a third eye? Right on top of his head here, he has a little dot. That is a, a tarithial eye, it's a third eye. Now he cannot see through it, but he can sense the uh, shadows on uh, when something is above him so like let's say he's on top of the branches on top of a tree uh, and a hawk flies above him he will be able to tell that, uh, that a predator is above him right For a change, I'm not the skipper, but check this out. We just went here through two small little islands. I think this might be Lee Stocking, Lee Stocking Key. And we've got two new skippers. Let's go meet the new skippers. How's that? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> we are and Yemen. We are skipping away. Are you skipping away? Between rocks, islands, sandbanks and carrots. And here's a big cat coming on. But it looks like we're still at high tide. If I look over there, it looks like we're still high. So it might be slack tide. So it might be a good time to go through these cuts. So we're going through the cut here. And the light blue is, is too shallow. The dark blue is good. But the dark spots is rocks. So between the dark spots and the dark blue and the light blue, we need to figure out how to get through this small little cut. And Yemen and Milani, they are in control. <laughs> okay, here's a rock in front of us. Hope we're going to miss this rock. A big island. Yeah, this is a small cut. But we, I think we still at more or less high tide. The tide is starting to go out now. <laughs> so you guys no made your first cut. It's nerve-wracking. I can't believe it. Yeah, nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of swells, not too much current. But we're now in the Atlantic. Yeah, this is the wide Atlantic. So that was red key cut so we had to go like this and through that little gap not big <laughs> if you look at red key there's red key it's like it's through that little cut over there yeah so what we're going to do now is throw the drop off for some fish our fishing line says out we got one line, hand line going that way and another hand line going this way. Not sure what color lures we need to put out. It looks like this. We're not very good with what lures. So comment down below what color should be put out in this kind of water. It's very clear water but it's overcast skies. So this one is about 100 meters long and that one is about 15 to 20 meters long. So we have two, very long one and a very short one. And currently this one is orange and green and that one is just orange. <laughs> Have you ever kicked a stingray before? No. They don't like it. Yeah, so I don't, don't do it. Do it. He doesn't like it. Get your monkey closer, stingray. Yeah. Well, okay, so go box you. Oh my goodness. I love this one. 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 I will not say two and cry. Like a good two and a half. 
We left Elizabeth Harbour very early this morning and lots of rain in the direction where we want to go. We're going to go through a very, very narrow cut, very shallow cut, very rocky cut. So we need to be there at high tide. So we had to leave very early. And Gibbon is at the, oh, at the helm. <laughs> Having meetings six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Starlink, you can do a video call with how many people? A lot. Uh, six to eight. Ish. Six to eight video streams coming in. So, but yeah, hopefully that rain will be gone when we get there. That is. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful morning. Oh, over there is rain too. We are getting closer and closer. About 60 minutes. Then we need to go through this little thing here. And all the things that has red dots is too shallow at low tide. So look, 1.2, 1.2, 1.5, 1.2. Pietro is busy bringing in the lures. We try it again at sunrise fishing. But nothing. This is it. We're approaching Hawk Key Cut. So we need to go that little thing just to the left of Pietro. We need to go behind it and then turn around that little island over there. Two meters, 2.1. We can still slow. But it looks like sand, so if we do hit the bottom, not that we want to, but it will be less damaging. And you cannot see where is deeper side. <laughs> if we made it through the cut, it was fixed. Okay, fish on! <laughs> We anchored here at Flamingo Bay, the northern bay of Flamingo Key, and there's a ray over there. Megan is trying to catch us a fish. With mom. Oh, and Milan is also trying to catch a fish. <laughs> yeah, and Eben is looking for the anchor. Hopefully, he will find that anchor that's set. It's a hoop. Your wife is going to catch you for the second time. So we just just arrived. You can see the sun is about to set. We just arrived here at uh, Hawk Key 
and that's a famous sticky bar just behind this this a lot of leopards here <laughs> that's a leopard leopard 45 or oh, lagoon leopard leopard 45 leopard leopard and then three manos huh. just look at the setting it's going to be an awesome awesome setting tonight and we're going to have tuna fresh caught tuna while we watch how it's raining over there so we had hawk key all the dinghies is they are all on a beach and this is the place to be hawk key yacht club just look at this hawk key yacht club and there's lots of people and lots of food and somewhere over here is a bonfire happening so we will do that a little bit later but check this food out you are making these because I'm not trading, so you can kiss your own wife for me for making the tortillas. You better get down here. No, I said you can kiss your wife, not me. You're not. You're not. If you want any of these left, we're gonna bring them over there. It has been time you eat. Get this one. Get this one. Get this one for you. Sorry about. Here, Spring. You hold the phone. Get it. Get it. And what a nice way to end the day with a nice birthday celebration. Happy birthday, Milani. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, <laughs> 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 this can be serious, aren't